next we request you to call upon uh, mr satya narayan reddy to present the topic on clinical profile of men with different sexual orientation good afternoon everybody i am dr satya narayan reddy alla because there is no introduction i am dr alla satya narayan reddy i am a professor and head of the department of obstetric gynecology at vinayaka mission university karaikal pondicherry and also an adjunct professor in reproductive and sexual health at indian institute of public health hyderabad and a consultant in reproductive and sexual medicine at apollo fertility hyderabad at the same time at tu institute of sexual medicine hyderabad and i am a research scholar of texel american university completed phd awaiting the result of the phd my topic for phd is pornography induced erectile dysfunction in young men in south india but today i am going to present clinical profile of men with different sexual orientation because good number of the participants in this conference may not be may not be well versed with the concept of sexual orientation i brief this august house about what is sexual orientation sexual orientation refers to romantic and sexual attraction to another person a sexual attraction to a person of a same sex is that is men having sexual attraction towards men and women having sexual attraction towards women is homosexuality in the same way sexual attraction to the persons of the opposite sex that is a man towards a woman and a woman towards a man is called heterosexuality having sexuality sexual attraction towards both sexes is bisexuality and sexuality sexual orientation is not a single entity there is it is a continuation from homosexuality at one extreme of the our orientation to heterosexuality at the other extreme of the orientation now to tell you in a graphic way here is a male who is who is androphilic that is attraction towards male then he is homosexual a male who is gynephilic that is having attraction towards female he is heterosexual a female who is androphilic attraction towards males is called heterosexual a female who is gynephilic that is attraction towards female is homosexual then in addition to having sexual attraction he may do sex with a person that is having sex act with another man that is having sex with his with the man whom he is attracted to that is it is attraction followed by action he may be doing sex with a man that is a sexual behavior or sexual activity we learn that sexual orientation is a continuum from exclusive homosexuality to exclusive heterosexuality but there is a grade between this level of sexual attraction in say scale he is one such grading scale to assess the homosexual status of a man or sexual orientation status of a man it ranges between 0 to 6 0 being exclusively homosexual and 6 being exclusively homosexual there can be somebody who is intermediate also how prevalent is homosexuality that is how prevalent is homosexuality cannot be assessed correctly in a in the western society where homosexual people are accepted as their own or there is no homosexuality negative attitude in the society people came come out and then tell that they are homosexual but in conservative societies like india where homosexuality is now also is viewed by the public as some aberrant sexuality people won't come out people won't reveal themselves so the obvious revelation of homosexuality will be different the actual homosexuality is different but in the western society 4% of the males are considered to be homosexual in india 1% of the men are said to be homosexual 
0.5% women in general population are said to be homosexual homosexuality by law is not uniformly uniform in the world in western countries are who are not who are very comfortable with homosexual attitudes of the persons you can see in the dark blue color all the western countries homosexuality is legal they can there is no discrimination and they can get married also and where it is not it is not protected that is there is no homo negativity but it is not a criminal offense it is not a crime to practice homosexuality these countries are depicted in pale blue color and in countries where homosexuality is criminalized having homosexual attraction or homosexual acts are crime it is depicted in the red color but india in the recent past have upgraded into a this color that is it is not criminalized in india now it is not in the red zone in india homosexual acts between consenting adults is not a crime at all now people can have a negative attitude towards homosexuality there are two varieties here the society having homo negative attitude towards the persons that is called homo negativity or homophobia phobia means that is aversion or not doing the society viewing this as aberrant or deviant per, deviant or sexual perversion there is another another homo negativity suppose a man mm. who is homosexual by himself but have hatred towards his own homosexuality but have but have homosexual but have hatred towards other homosexual people he himself is a homosexual but he is having hatred towards homosexuality by whatever reason so he hates himself it is called internalized homosexuality now lgbtq that is lesbian gay bisexual transsexual queer person when the society views these people with stigma they feel stressed develops psychological problems are subjected to physical and psychological harassment by the common public they also indulge in risky sexual behaviors like they can have sexually transmitted infections they can have hiv infection also and they have alcohol addiction or drug addiction or drug addiction or the suicide rate of the lgbt lgbt people is 3 to 2 to 3 times more than general population then to give a direction to the medical profession the world medical association have come out with a state policy statement in 2013 that homosexuality is not a disease it is a natural variation of a human behavior it has removed the homosexuality as removed by american psychiatric association in 1973 as a disease process and world health organization in its icd 10 have removed in 1990 the concept of tar homosexuality as a disease then homosexual world medical association condemns the so called conversion methods to convert a homosexual into heterosexual these constitute violation of human rights and are unjustifiable practices it is unethical for phys- physicians to practice such conversion techniques or conversion procedures now with this background of homosexuality we go into the findings of my own clinical research i deal with sexual problems of men and women in addition by being a gynecologist so this is my own clinical research in own my own practice that is now this the clinical profile of men with different sexual orientation not how to treat how people come to a physician to get 
their sexual orientation problem solved. So here I wanted to tell sexual homosexuality is not a disease, but homosexuality that is sexual orientation can be problematic to the person, can be problematic to the family, can be problematic to the society in general. Then it is called sexual orientation problem. Now we deal with individual sexual orientation problem that is sexual orientation giving problem to the physical and mental health or family health of the person that is sexual orientation problem. So to give an idea how a man with a homosexuality approaches a sexologist or a physician, I quote a sample case. This is a sample case, not a specific case. A 30 year, two years male married, married to a woman came alone with a principal complaint of sexual dysfunction and associated complaint of sexually transmitted infection. He is not able to do sex. There was no sexual abuse for him as a child and on examination or on evaluation, he falls into a category of Kinsey scale 5, suggesting that having sexual attraction towards men only fantasizes to have sex with a macho man. Did homosexual acts of mutual masturbation with his male sex partner, orogenital sex, keeping the mouth and genitalia together, or sex in between the thighs called interfloral sex, and he is always a a receptor to anal sex. He will receive anal sex, not do anal sex. He had till now at 32 years of age, had four study homosexual partners and 30 casual sexual partners. And before and after marriage also, because of his risky sexual behavior with good number of people, he had sexually transmitted infection, treated earlier also. Now he comes for sexually transmitted infection also. He is having erection failure with his wife and till now, after many months of married life, he is not able to consummate the marriage. That is, he is not able to enter his wife at least once to complete the sex act. He didn't have any gender identity disorder, no sex perversions. He came for a treatment of sexually transmitted infections also. Wife came to know of his homosex acts very recently. This is the sample case with which people come to us for their sexual problem. Now, the, the material I have taken is the most recent 100 men with a sexual orientation problem or sexual orientation concern who came to me in the years 2018 and 2019 with a few spillover cases of 2020 and 21. A good number of people are not coming during the COVID season of these two years. Majority of the cases are in 2018 and 2019 only. Of these, 50 men with sexual activity with men or had concerned about sexual orientation, but there are heterosexuals only. We come with later. Now, the clients with 100 out of the 100 clients with whom I dealt with, 62 men, that is, it comes into percentage also, are between 21 and 30 years of age. 32 people are between 31 and 40 years of age. This is prevalence, not incidence. Then out of these 100 people, 48 are unmarried and 47 are married to a woman, not to a man. And five, or five men got married, but divorced because of a sexual dysfunction in him. And only two people came with the wife and two people are forcibly brought by the husband, wife's wives for a treatment of their sexual dysfunction. What for they came? That is, this is more important slide than anything else. The reason is what for a patient comes to, to the clinician, to the sexologist to have an assessment of his sexual problem. That is, 41 people out of 100 people came for a sexual dysfunction. That is, he is not able to have good erection or not able to do sex or he is not able to ejaculate also, and he is not having a sex desire also, and 14 people have never consummated their marriage even after months and years of living together with his wife. And it is quite interesting that 22 people came, whether unmarried or married, to have an assessment or to discuss their sexual orientation 
to discuss about the problems of their sexual orientation to have a clarity to have to me certify that what is their sexuality because they are ignorant or they have a vague ideas of their homosexuality or they overreacted to their homosexual behavior and 17 people out of these 100 people wanted me to convert them into heterosexual that is their request whether we did it or not it is immaterial and eight people came with sexually transmitted infections it is quite interesting to note that out of the 100 people who came to me for a say, homosexual problem seven people came with a sexual dysfunction with their male partners not with the female partners they are having sex with their male partners and they are worried about that they are not good in bed with their male partners that is they are not having he can the common complaint is my boyfriend in sex is that is male having a boyfriend in sex my boyfriend is lasting longer than me and his penetration is far better than mine that is sexual dysfunction the male partners these are the proper complaints with which the people come to come to the sexologist so all the people i have assessed by the kinsey scale by the kinsey scale that is out of these 100 people 47 men are out of the out of the 100 people 47 people are exclusively are predominantly homosexual 10 men are exclusively are predominantly heterosexual they are heterosexual came for homosexual concern and six people are bisexual nine men fall into intermediary category between these two now how many sex partners they had till now in india in india among heterosexual men are very people a man who is a, a man who is interested to have sex with a woman unmarried men can have zero to one or two sex partners before marriage in india i am talking to and if for a married man he may be having an extra marital sex partners anywhere between 0 to 10 depending upon their interest in go, doing sex outside marriage but here you can see that only 39 people out of the 100 people have only 39 people had one or two sexual partners and 21 people had partners of 10 to 15 sex partners till now and four people had more than 100 sex partners all homosexual sex partners that is to tell this shows that homosexual men are more promiscuous or have more sex partners than the general population then what sex acts they perform this is quite interesting for a novice in the sexual medicine or novice in the homosexual context of seeing people they will be curious to know that is what sexual acts they perform one man with other that is mutual foreplay mutual masturbation he giving blow job he receiving blow job and job from another man doing sex in between the thighs he penetrating other man other man sanus he receiving penetration from another man sanus from that is in the anal sex some men are exclusively penetrative that is they they will do only penetration of other man sanus they are called tap some people have a mentality to receive anal sex they don't do anal sex to receive anal sex there are nine people out of these men are always receptive these people are bottom some people are versatile they can participate in both ways they can do anal sex they can receive anal sex people who do anal sex are are called top people who receive anal sex are called bottoms but good number of the people are versatile they can do both ways now good number of it is known that the people who are having a sexual orientation problem are having good number of sexual perversions also they are having good number of people are having sexual perversions the common perversions because these people won't come to this complaint who elicited that complaint now out 15 men 
never had 19 men never had any homosexual contact with other men out of these 100 people on investigation or on on interviewing those people or on assessing those people i personally assessed everybody personally examined everybody then i could find 15 people or even though they came for a homosexual concern they are heterosexual they came for homosexual concern but they are not homosexuals they are heterosexuals only they came for a con- they came for assessment of their sexual state now to conclude in the clinical presentation i am talking i am not talking of the investigations to be done i am not talking of the uh, treatment or the psychological treatment to be adopted my my intention is to enlighten the people what for these people come so in conclusion in the case where i have presented earlier that man is exclusively homosexual he is to be to be treated for sexually transmitted infections he should we should not undertake any conversion technique make him accept his homosexual status and if they ask for we can suggest divorce from wife and treatment for the psychological problems also and later suggest sex practices in men so as general rule homosexuality is not by choice it is by birth homosexuality is not a disease it is a variant sexuality homosexuality is a fixed constant orientation never changes rarely it changes in a fluid state sexual orientation cannot be changed by us our job is to make him accept his sexual orientation treat the psychological problems that arose out of it and take home message is the clinical presentation of men with homosexuality is not direct they won't come with a with a complaint of homosexuality only one third of the men present with a sexual orientation problems two thirds of the men present with a sexual problem other than homosexuality it is for the clinician who should unearth homosexuality that is he is the patient is having a homosexuality but he didn't reveal to us but it is our job to unearth homosexuality and then treat him properly it is the het- homosexual attraction that decides his homosexual status not the homosexual acts a man who had say homosexual attraction is a homosexual even though he never did sex with a man every man who had sex with a man he is not a homosexual if he don't have sexual attraction to men so homosexuality label is not a straight yes or no half of the men have various gates of homosexuality thank you for a patient listening email and my phone number with a whatsapp is also enclosed here with thank you for a patient listening thank you dr uh, satya narayana uh, for the wonderful presentation attendees uh, we have enabled the polling session for dr satya narayana's presentation requesting you to participate in the poll also requesting you to post your questions in chat box on presentation of dr satya narayana dr we have first question what yes, of yes. looking at homosexuality as a psychiatric disease homosexuality is not a psychiatric disease i clarified i clearly told that homosexuality is not a psychological disease but people with homosexuality when they are living with a heterosexual that is normal society when when these people are not accepted when these people are not accepted by the common public as one of them these people develop a psychological disturbances make a difference i want to i i wanted to clarify that it is not a psychological disturbance it it is not a psychiatric disease it is a normal c that's all they have they are born with that one but the psychological problems my my presentation is misunderstood by the questioner that is people are not problematic in having a homosexuality but people who are there homosexual in the society who is against homosexuality they develop psychological problems because 
the candidate himself treats himself as bad the society treats him as bad so he develops he is not normal he, he thinks he is not normal when 99% are heterosexual 1% who so he feels he feels that he is abnormal and develops psychological disturbances it is not a psychiatric disease all the psychological disturbances that the that the client or the homosexual man undergoes is the result of homo negativity or homophobia of the public thank you dr uh, satinarayana we have another question how do their wives cope with lack of consummating of marriage yes that is non consummation of the marriage is one of the common things that i practice by practice sexual medicine there are good number of that is it will be quite interesting for people everybody thinks that people if they are not able if the wife is not able to consummation of the marriage is not there within a week of marriage they they they, they have few and try no in practice we have seen people the wives are bearing with the man thinking that he may be able to do if not today after some time so we see people from one day of marriage to i have seen up to 13 years of marriage they are coping with that one thinking that better things happen or they will, the husband will be able to accommodate himself and he will be able to do if they are not able to do they consult us thank you doctor uh, we have another question how were you able to get respondents sir how were you able to get respond that is i practice sexual medicine so people come to me for a sexual problem that is they come to me for a sexual problem i told you they come to a sexual problem they may be having homosexual because because i am practitioner known for good number of people they come to me directly for a sex problem and out of the sex problems which i say suppose some man is not having good erection with his wife then if i probe he will be telling i am having the reason for not having erection with his wife is i am having attraction towards men only not towards women that is the reason he comes so the respondents i receive from the public because good number of people in the area where i practice know me as a sexual medicine consultant yes sir thank you doctor uh, we have a last question the anatomical anatomical futures of male and female supports heterosexuality could homosexuality be an issue from disturbance from childhood as some researchers have shown one minute sir one minute sir i am going to read that question once more by me the anatomical features of male and female support heterosexuality could homosexuality be an issue from a disturbance from a disturbance from childhood as some research have shown no homosexuality is not because of a because of a childhood disturbances i specifically told you there is no sexual abuse homosexuality is an inborn tendency of the person any sexual issues the man is subjected to in the childhood will will make it it make him come out that is he is having insight his feeling of homosexuality but when somebody else an elder person provokes him for a homosexual act the innate nature of his comes out nobody can make you homosexual but they can make you realize your homosexuality that is a disturbance in the childhood he is not a reason for homosexuality a disturbance in the childhood suppose he got a sexual abuse from elder man he a boy having a sexual abuse by an elder man then if at all he is homosexual he practices homosexuality he realizes his homosexuality but if at all his nature is heterosexual he hates that man who did sexual abuse on him so childhood experiences are not at all related to the person being homosexual or heterosexual thank you doctor we have uh, one more question yes, provocation sir. of fulfillment of marital vows and having a family are key issues in marriage how does homosexuality promote or negate these social values question from rachel yes sir yes sir 
procreation and fulfillment of marital vows and having a family are key issues in marriage how does homosexuality promote or negate these social values now we are living in a society where we think that a man has to marry a woman who made this rule very simple a man can marry a man today a woman can marry a woman today it is legalized in good number of countries in good number of uh, eastern countries or conservative societies there is no legal sanction for marriage between a husband and wife so the the one who asked this one that is we have to see from a different level of our understanding our understanding is a man marries a woman that is marriage it is called no a man can marry a man a woman can marry a woman it may be we think that it is against nature but homosexual man can think that heterosexuality is against nature so it is the way which we think so the definition of marriage the questionnaire dr rachel asked is marriage is between man and woman only then that is we have seen people homosexual couple living together faithfully for the past 30 years they are faithful to each other that is they they can they don't have procreation capacity but there are artificial techniques of producing their own children also thank you doctor we have a last question yes, uh, during the course of this study what are the limitations of this study doctor do you want me to repeat the question yes sir during the course of your study ah. what are the limitations of this study so i don't have the, that is limitations of the study is number 1 the partner the suppose is a married man married to a woman the man comes he never brings his wife because of shyness because of he not having comfort zone with his wife but i ask those people to bring their wives but good number of the people don't want to expose themselves to their wives as homosexual so they don't bring this wife suppose if the wife comes then we will be able to advise those people that is the limitation the second one even if you confirm that this man is purely homosexual or exclusively no, i don't say purely if there is nothing purity it is exclusively homosexual still we suggest it is injustice to the girl to his married wife we i advise those people don't get married before if they come to me before marriage a exclusive homosexual if they come to me before marriage i say don't get married to a woman if at all you wanted to get married get married to a man or stay bachelor if at all he is a married man then i say exclusive homosexual man to get divorced so this is a little sensitive issue in conservative societies so these are the limitations i found during the course of my practice in sex medicine in homosexuality thank you so much doctor yes sir.